Hey everybody, Charlie here. Welcome back to Surviving Mars. As the cold wave subsides, we're going to go ahead and get these towers built. We're going to get these things turned on over here. All the things need to be built now. Pronto. Let's get this built too. And we want to make sure we're starting to apply maintenance to this stuff up here. Let's close all of our sterlings if we can't afford to. And make sure that we are in range to cover... This is a transport vehicle. Let's get this over here. And then we want to land. Passengers... Here they come. Ready? Let's go. Land the passengers down. Logi hydro hydrosynthesis is done now. And rocket cargo can be increased by a thousand by 10,000 kilograms if we'd like to. It's pretty low priority right now. Um, I'm not really interested in the cloning vats as much either, but I like this one. More research points generated from our research lab. Sounds great. We're going to prioritize the subsurface heating first, but that is the next thing we're going to do. And then I think at that point, we probably want to look at getting money or opportunities for money. I might even consider doing this one to get more planetary anomalies to show up. Um, at the moment, though, I'm actually more interested in this one. Not because I have specialists, because we don't, but because it reveals more of the social tree, potentially giving us that million dollar one. So for now, I'm going to click this. And then uh, I think from there, I'm going to queue that one up, too. So people are going to be coming down and landing, guys. Welcome in. I hope you had... I hope you're having a wonderful time. I hope you're having a wonderful day. We're getting all the stuff fixed. Rover RC Commander is going to hopefully fix some things for us. Make sure everything is maintained. New beginnings. Full of hope and determination. The first founders have set foot on the red planet. Yes, they have. <laughs> Next 10 souls will be difficult and dangerous, but we want to get through this introductory period as fast as we can. The founder stage lasts 10 souls or until a baby is born. That's just how it goes. So here they are, folks. Here they are. And they're like, hey, look. There's like people repairing things. Isn't that great? Yeah, it is. All right. So with this done, we got to make sure we have enough water to this dome. So currently... We have a deficit in water. Why is this? You don't have power. That's why. Hang on. We want to get power to you. I'm not sure why you don't have power. You're right here. Why don't you have power? Do I have to turn one of these on? Oh, I have to open one of these sterlings. Okay. That happened. Okay. Next thing I want to do then is... Yeah, I need pipes to go, I think, from over from that, that vaporator. Yeah, we need pipes to go to that from that vaporator. So let's get a pipe running uh, like this. And yes, I've realized once more, I realize that this makes my grid a bit long, but I'm going to do the best we can with this. You also don't have power, so let's hook you up. See, until you build these things, you don't necessarily see this, right? You got to see it. You got to see it built before you know. And then it looks to me like we have a power deficit. Um, yeah, it looks like we kind of do. Let's shut the fuel refinery off. Eh, I don't want to, though. Um, all right, you know what? Let's drop this. You want the extractor for the water? Did we use all of our evaporators? Yeah. Didn't we have four? One, two, three. Is that all we had? Yeah. They don't have water. Well, we're going to have to do something about that. And the only thing I can do about it right now is to drop a water extractor over here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to drop a water extractor right over like this. And then the pipes will run this way, I guess. I don't like that, but okay, I guess. And then we're also going to need power hooked up to that. So we're going to run our power cables... I guess right alongside here like this. This is like the worst way to do it. This is, this is better. And then from there, since we have to manage all this stuff, we're going to drop a drone hub on this side just to make sure we can maintain this whole world over here. And uh, we'll drop it right here, I think. All right. This is going to open up new drones for us. It's going to give us... It's going to give us everything, right? It's going to let us manage everything. We just have to be able to 
Unfortunately, we have to maintain this water extractor now with some machine parts, which isn't great. On the brink of oh my, yeah, I know. Once we get the water extractor up, everything will be fine. Relax. I can also do it by shutting off the fuel as well. But here's the thing, we already had, we already had no water today, right? So they only lose sanity from a lack of a resource one time in a day. So if all of a sudden they don't have water, boom, there's a 24 hour cycle now where they're not gonna be adversely affected by that until um, later. Who is this? Elvis Lee. Are you, are you like the leader? Why are you pinned? Get out of here, Elvis. Concrete being delivered. There we go. And this machine will start running right now. Now I got to figure out my power grid. Do I need my Sterling's open for this? You're broken down now. You need to be restored. People are on it. Good. So I'm at 12 power overage right now. But that's with machines broken down. So it looks like I'm going to need at least one of my Sterling's to stay open at the moment. Yeah, I am. I'm only seven power up. But we have a water overage. We have a water surplus. That's good for us. Everything is just outside the dust grid here. So I should be able to turn this back on. Because nothing should get hit by this dust. It's just outside the dust grid. Okay. Martian Tribune, what's up? Elvis Lee has been chosen from the 12 brave founders as Oracle to nurture and guide the initial development of the newly populated colony on Mars. The challenges that Elvis Lee will have to face in the coming souls will be many, but Church of the New Ark has declared that they have complete confidence in Elvis Lee's ability to meet those challenges. Water shortage rumors abound. Excuse me? Rumors? What are you talking about? Water is in short supply these days. Uh, Oracle has declared MT leader Elvis uh, has declared that the shortage to be an outright lie. Exactly. But rumors around the plant, but rumors abound that plans are in the works to boost output this coming soul. See, we did that. That's great. This is like an accurate story. Good job. How are you? How do you know? Teenager takes drone for a joyride. Last night, Sierra Dayton hacked the code. Working their way into the mainframe, one would expect havoc through the, throughout the colony this morning, but apparently they had their sights set on something a little more exciting. Sierra Dayton simply took over a local drone and went out for a little joyride. Eventually, to end the ride face to, or to, to end the ride face first into the side of Infinity One. Go figure. Yeah. So she ran the drone into the rocket. Good for her. Okay, so this is being worked. I want to work it overtime, and I want to work two shifts. Okay. Infirmary is going to be shifted all the time, okay? All shifts. Uh, for research, I think we can work overtime here too. Probably get double shifts if possible. doesn't look like it is. Let's go off. And then obviously the farm needs to be worked as much as possible too. We're going to go over shift on this too. So we are going to work. Oh, we're going to do, we're going to do a heavy workload on all of the production buildings as it matters, okay? Now this means... That this building, which does not have power because it's pulling more power now. Yep. Okay, we, we need to drop. Unfortunately, I'm going to need to drop solar panels here. So we're going to get some solar panels put in, uh, I think, probably along this route. We'll put one here. We'll put one. Hang on. We'll put one, yeah, like, uh, like this. And then one right here. And then one right here. Four solar panels. Plus, I need, a, I need an accumulator on this. Let's get a battery put in right here. So we need to have power overage. I need to be able to last through the night and heavy workloads gotta be a thing. Now we only have six polymers. I can use some of my overage in water for polymers, I think. You gotta find where the hell it is. <laughs> I have to learn all this stuff all over again. Like learning where stuff is production. Okay. Um, consumes one water and one fuel and 10 power. I want you to be right here because you're using fuel so we can use it right here. This will be the workspace for those. Okay. So we got drones out this way. We got drones over there. Huh? 
probably don't need as many over here. So why don't we take package up a couple of these guys? We'll just have two drones out this way. It's probably fine. Let's unpack them. Uh, let's let's pack them out here. Yep. And then I think I'm actually going to give you one. Oh, I can't. Hang on. Pack one up and give you one of these drones too. There we go. All right. Now you just need people to work there, which I don't think we have enough. We don't have the power anymore. Let's build these solar panels, guys. Come on. Where's the uh, high priority? High priority solar panels. Let's go. Move it, move it, move it, move it. Now I realize this isn't going to help me during the night, which is about what it's going to be right now. But the nighttime, we're also not necessarily working every shift. You notice this is off now. And the sterling generators are on all the time. So we actually have a power surplus now that it's not nighttime. We can turn... I think we'll turn off the concrete extractor... I mean, it's automated. There's no reason to shut it off other than power consumption, but that is a good reason to shut it off. Um, you're not taking any power. I think what we'll do is... I need two shifts on this if I can get it. I just need people to uh, always visit this building. Every night, you need to visit this building. Nobody to work in the security. That's great. Okay, we got a we got a baby born. First Martian born is here. For the first time, a human has been born on Mars. It's truly a unique miracle. Colonists have always felt like a family, but what makes the family stronger and more united is the promise of new life and a better future. We have truly been blessed with a rewarding responsibility to carry the torch of hope. Let this blooming of life serve as a symbol for all humans. Mars is no longer a dead world. The colony has been evaluated positively. You can't call any more colonists from Earth due to the last Ark game rule. Indeed. So this is it. We are now officially populating this planet. Subsurface heating is done. We're definitely going to want to lay one of those in right away. Because if that thing happens again... Um, yeah, if... if oh God, where is it? Where is it? I don't know. I thought it was in this. Is it not in, it's not in this production? No, power, infrastructure. God damn it, I need to learn this stuff again, all over again. All right, I was hoping to put this, put this here. Um, but I have to make sure I cover the middle of the dome. I think right here will be an okay spot. I think so. I, need, I have to get the middle of the dome. We're going to put you here. And currently, there's no cable connection, but I can fix that. I'm just going to connect you like this. Yeah, that's fine. And then for the pipes, you need a pipe connection too. That should do it. So this will allow us to heat, you know, all of this, keep it from taking double power and stuff. Machine parts are low. Yeah, I'm aware. I knew that was going to happen. There was just nothing I could do about it. I have to send a rocket with machine parts, but I have no way of doing that. So this was my biggest fear with machine parts is the fact that I can't do anything about it. Now, one thing we might be able to get away with is if we send this for... If we send this rocket out we don't have the electronics for this we don't have the electronics for that either mm. we have no way of getting machine parts that's my problem right now um, also the firstborn should be a celebrity so how come we're not getting any money for that that was part of the plan, too. Make sure we shut this off. Yep. Uh, it's going to have to be off. I don't want it taking any power right now. Yeah, so with no machine parts, it gets really rough. Um, we need to make sure we don't maintain... Pretty much we don't want to maintain this. And once this water extractor gets bumped... 
Like, that's kind of it. We're gonna bop. I don't want to bop that. I have to choose. Metals? I need one of those prefabs, like, really bad. Milestone achieved. Okay. Thanks for the milestone. I'm not sure which one it was. Produced food is probably what it was. Yep, sounds good. Producing food is good. These people aren't going to starve tonight. We're just going to keep it on wheat for the time being because it pops really fast. Um, I'm a little concerned. Like machine parts are a big problem. And I don't have enough people to manage all these machines. If I send you back to Earth, there's nothing to bring back. I need something to bring back. Some sort of resource I can bargain with or something. I mean, machine parts are a big problem. Here's our ramp. Why don't you bring these metals up? Drop them off right here or something. I don't know what to do here, guys. I have no way of making machine parts. Small machine parts factory requires micro micro manufacturing. The big one requires robotics. I, I mean, I need to bring a, pre a prefab. Yeah, the machine parts factories require robotics. Electronics requires uh, micro manufacturing. The only way. I mean, I have to be able to sell something. I was kind of hoping the celebrity would help us out. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Colonists. Do we have a celebrity? Uh, quirk. Nope. It's perk. Celebrity. No celebrities. So that mod doesn't work anymore. That's cool. <laughs> Where's my first born? Martian born, where are you? Maybe they don't show up. Maybe they haven't showed up yet. Maybe once they show up, it'll work. Because we just had a baby born. There's one here. He's right here. Simon Solar. Simon. Child. Martian born celebrity. There he is. Generates funding when at high comfort. Maybe it will work then. I don't know. I think I have to send this rocket back. I think I'm going to send it to Earth. And cross my fingers. And hope that we get some sort of funding that allows me to bring machine parts here. Uh, and then bring, some, bring a prefab, hopefully. And then I can get another dome. Possibly set up over here. We won't be able to connect it. That'll be a problem, but... Damn. Damn, damn. Machine parts might be the end of me here. I, at least m most of my power is not is not that. It's, it's polymers, really. Let's uh, close this up. So we don't have to have any more polymers. All of our sterling should be closed. Yep. But then we have a power deficit. So we could also let the concrete extractor not run at night. Because it... I mean, this takes machine parts too, though. At least we've got this running. A heavy workload is running. How's your morale? Litzy. Comfort is 43. Uh, sanity, you're working heavy workload outside the dome, but you're well rested and we have dome sweet dome. So it offsets everything. So we can do heavy workload on pretty much everybody and it will just offset. I wish I could do, I want to do heavy workload on the farm for sure. Cause we only have four food left. This is a struggle, man. This is such a struggle. We have to go so slow here. Uh, I need to let this play on a little bit. 
I'm just gonna let it. I don't want to. I don't want to have the video be me watching this colony. But like at this point, I, I have to. I have to watch it to see what to react to. Sector scanned. Because without machine parts, yeah. This. I think I shut this down. Honestly, not enough water. Let's just shut this down. This means, this means the dome should have enough water now. It does. If this shuts down, right, we lose five water, which means we will be at a deficit of water if that shuts down. Which means I won't be able to make polymers at all. Let's sh shut this off for this shift. Now we have a battery at least. We can save some. Yeah, I need to let this play on, guys. Okay, we're really thin here on resources. Um, but I went ahead and sent the rocket back. And uh, the reason I did that is because the celebrity thing is kicking in. So the first kid being a celebrity is huge. We're actually getting funding from celebrities. We're getting $30 million every soul because he exists. Um, so that's good. Uh, that's, that's what I was hoping for for this. Because otherwise, it's a real RNG fest. So this little bit of money is going to help me in replacing our machine parts deficit. And it's gonna help me in, uh, well, I think I'm gonna have to have this fixed first. It's it's gonna help me in getting the, the prefab for electronics too, uh, for machine parts, sorry, too. When life gives you lemons. On an alien world, that takes guts to say the least. Okay, so founder Sierra Dayton also has the enthusiast trait. That's pretty good. Okay, cool. We have enthusiasts, and she is visiting the grocer. Good for you. Now, their sanity is pretty good. Dome Sweet Dome is helping with sanity a lot. It lets me do heavy workload on both shifts for the metal extractor. We'll be able, we'll be able to exploit this resource a lot. And then when I... Dust storm approaching. Son of a bee. <laughs> Never mind. Dust storm coming. Um... That's a problem because we'll be at a power deficit the entire time. Okay, so I was going to say, what I was going to say is, um, we're doing okay. But now, with the electrostatic dust storm approaching, we're not doing okay. At least not that okay. For oxygen, we actually have enough storage time remaining. It says not available, but I'm pretty sure with this being full, we can last through the dust storm. At least I hope we can. I hope we can. Um, yeah, the power, the the vaporators are gonna shut off. That's the biggest problem. So we're gonna be draining these tanks, and these tanks, while they are full, they are gonna need. They're gonna take a lot of metals to keep maintained, so that we can keep drawing off of them. We do have a little bit more polymers made. That's good, but. Uh, shoot, man. This is going to be a big problem. Should we drop another battery? These can't operate in dust storms. Should I drop another tank? How long is the dust storm going to last? Knowing this game, it's probably like, like 18 souls. Um, I'm going to have my explorer go get this anomaly. Um, and actually, I probably will have him go get this anomaly, too. But this one's a direct help to our research we're currently doing, which is zero space computing. That is going to let us research faster. So right now, we're not getting anything from research buildings? Wait. What are you doing in here, then? Or are you just... Research per soul zero. What? You're not able to get anything at all? Negative 50. Wrong workplace specialization. You are not specialized in anything. Hangover alcoholic. Oh, God. Get out of there. No, you don't work here anymore. Okay? Beat it. Somebody else work here. Okay? Somebody else needs to work here. Here, Clyde. You're out of this. I'm going to put you in here instead. Okay, Clyde? Can you... Can you work here instead, Clyde? Where's Clyde? 
I just I just canceled Clyde. Hey Clyde, can you work somewhere else? Can you work here instead? There you go. There you go, buddy. Yeah, yeah, work here instead, okay? And then we'll let the alcoholic work. Working hard. There you go, workaholic. I want the workaholic to work somewhere else. Actually, the workaholic working in the farm would be a cool idea. Let's, how about we have you do that? Workaholic, I want you to be assigned to the farm, please. And then somebody else can work this grocer spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody else who, like, doesn't matter can work in the grocery spot. All right. <sighs> Dust storm in three hours. This is going to suck. You are, like, our only source of water. We're going to be at a big water deficit. I'm going to have to shut this building down. Yeah, this building's going to have to get shut down. Two hours... Let's go ahead and kick you out. Shut this building down entirely. That way they also won't try to repair it. Um, I don't think I need the metal necessarily. We're going to actually have a power surplus here, I think. Well, maybe not because the solar panels are going to go down. But that's 20 power. But I'm also removing 10 power from the grid here. And all the vaporators are shutting down. So I think I'll still be positive on power. My biggest concern is water, though. Um, I've switched the farm. So they they kicked out the wheat, and that's great. But we're going to do soybeans in the alternate. Um, soybeans are cool. Not only do they produce more food, although it takes a lot longer to produce it, um, but what that does is it also increases the soil quality. And when you get the quality up, you start producing more food per crop. So basically, we produce quickly, then we produce slowly, but we improve the quality. Then we produce quickly and then we rinse and repeat like that so we eventually will get more and more wheat um and also more and more soybeans all right so this dust storm is going to last about three and a half souls oh no are you striking here oh that's bad this is our only source of water right now yep Oxygen is decreasing by 0.7. We should be good for five souls. We will get through it with our oxygen supply. Water, on the other hand, I can't tell. Anomaly analyzed. We get a thousand for that. Good. I want you, Explorer. Come on back. Missing rover. Oh, no. Did you take away my... You took away my truck. The monitor shows only static as the rover's GPS tracker shows an error message. Oh, no. Shit. We've lost contact with one of our rovers. We believe the problem was caused by the dust storm, and hopefully we'll be able to locate it easily once the storm is over. We can't wait. Send out drones to search for the rover. I don't think there's a reason to worry. It wasn't doing anything super critical anyway. It was just going up and down the, the ramp to bring uh, uh, metal to us. So I'm going to say no reason to worry. For the time being. I mean, it's got to be within here, right? Unless it went absolutely rogue. Which I suppose is possible. Given this game. Uh, I want the Explorer to go get that anomaly if possible. Leak detected. Okay, stop. Well, I can't stop. Where's this leak? Okay, this pipe, we're going to delete it. Where is it? Delete the pipe. Pipe is gone. Um, leak detected and power as well. Where is this? Power leak is gone. Okay, good. Now I need to rebuild the lines. Now, you might be wondering, why are you deleting it? Why not just repair it? Okay, they cost the same resource. Yeah, and you would have a nice question there. Uh, here's a nice answer. Because while they're trying to repair it, I'm actively losing my storage, right? I'm literally being drained of power, drained of oxygen, and drained of water. I have no leaks between here and the dome. My leak is over here. So really the only thing I'm missing out on is this water supply, but I have it in the tanks anyway, right? By removing it quickly and having them rebuild it, I use the exact same number of resources to fix it, but while they're moving around, I'm not losing the resource in the tank. 
So this is a better tactic if you are in a hard difficulty that way. And same thing here. We're going to want to salvage this stupid leak. It looks like that's not even required. We don't even need that pipe. Yeah, we don't even need it. <laughs> so never mind that pipe anyway. S screw you. <laughs> So, do the electrostatic dust storms cause these? Because that was a lot of leaks back to back to back. And my power grid is pretty extensive right now, I'll admit. But, like, there, it is definitely prone to those types of things because of how long these are. Um, but it's not that bad. Research complete. Zero-G computing is done. So you should be doing much better now when you are working. Uh, lifetime research, 352. Is that how much research we've done, Purcell? Oh, we have to upgrade this. Takes five electronics. Wow, that's expensive. Okay, so technically we're not using electronics for anything specific right now. Technically. Uh, and I do want research, so okay. I think that's expensive. I think it's a uh, freaking highway robbery. But, uh, okay, we'll do it. We only have three food. Yikes. We can only last one more soul. And then we're going to have a soul without food. Um, this pops in how long? Three souls. Damn. We're going to go two souls without any food. That's going to help. That's going to hurt their sanity a lot. Let's just say... Another leak? You gotta be kidding me, guys. It's gotta be this dust storm, right? I don't remember if the dust storms caused this more or not, but it's gotta be the dust storms. This is a lot of leaks. So this shouldn't happen like this. All right, so at least we're not draining this. So how much water we got now? Cool, status is idle. Are we zeroed on water? Oh, we're zero on water. Well done, little metal ext water extractor. We have no machine parts at all, though. Uh, we have 140 million, though. What does it cost to send a supply pod? Oh, these are 99 million now. Great. I love inflation. Uh, okay. I guess we're not doing that. We'll have to wait for them. In that case, we will not be able to fix our refinery. We won't be able to fix our polymer factory. And we will not be able to fix this again. This is going down and cannot be fixed. We'll shut it off. And now you cannot be fixed either. So now we have to stop metalist extraction as well. Now the good news about that though, is that leaves more people to work in research. Yes, more people can work here now. So hopefully you guys will reassign yourselves and work in here. Another one, Mike, what are you doing to me game? You're killing me. You're literally killing me right now. Uh, power cables. Bring it over here. Anomaly analyzed. Collected valuable geographic data at the side of oh! The oh, this is so good, though. We've collected valuable geographic data on the side of the anomaly. Get four moisture evaporator prefabs. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Uh, we're, of course, going to build those after all this stuff shuts down. Yeah, that was a problem. That was a bop problem. Disabled by a lightning strike. <sighs> okay. Okay. Good for you, game. Can you fix this? Uh, too many drones receiving commands. Dro too many drones are already constructing this building. Ah, okay. Are they already doing it? There we go. Turn this back on. Thank you. Right, we have lots of oxygen to last us. Power, on the other hand, we don't. Um, what is the D? Oh my God. Okay, you know what? Here, get rid of this too. Just kill all of this, right? Kill it all. Like I have, it's got, it has to be, right? I, I just, I, I have, it's been a while since I played the game. So uh, bear with me, but uh it's got to be this particular electrostatic dust storm that's causing this kind of cable failure. 
which has me worried that I shouldn't rebuild it. Just leave it split. But leaving it split, uh, like, like there's a lot of there's a couple of power generating units over here too, you know. And I got some metal, and I want to charge the batteries as much, much as possible. So we have four moisture vaporators now, four more, um, which is beautiful for us. So beautiful for us. So I'm going to put one here and we're going to shut this off so they don't build it. Uh, then we're going to put another one over here. Let's put one probably here, actually. This ought to be okay. I almost want to put one along the line here. So we don't really need it to be right on top of us, right? But nah, not over there. They can put one over here. Maybe one right here. This is an okay spot, actually. Yeah. Put one there. Stop the construction. And the last one we'll put in is going to be, I think, here for now. Stop the construction. And then we actually have one more. Wow, this is so good having four more of these. Four of these are awesome. God, that's so good. Um, maybe we will just slap this right here on the other side, though. Somewhat protected from dust devils, I think. Okay, we will build those. And uh, that's even more, that's a lot of water. We may be able to shut this down and not have to maintain it. Um, oh my God, you are such a pain in the ass. Okay, we're stored power though. Okay, we're good on power. Let's keep going. What we got? We got one day left in this stupid thing. <sighs> and we're really low on food now too. We can only go 16 more hours with our food supply. That's, that sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. How many kids do we have? Loads of kids. Hello. Can we have people working here? Is that doable? We got the zero, we got the zero space computing research upgrade too. How's our sanity looking? Can I just say that our sanity is awesome at 92? Okay. Although I realize that the sanity is so good because I like this dome a look a lot, but I think it blocks a lot of like what makes the dome awesome, right? Like looking at the stars above Mars and stuff. And then this is like kind of cool too, but it's a little distracting. If I were me, if it were me, I would want this. But I also think if it were me and I looked up and saw this, like if it wasn't like foggy at all, I would feel more safe with this. Cause this sort of like, you know, I see these little grid lines and stuff and I think to myself, okay, I have the glass is fine. Okay. <laughs> but eh. What we'll do different designs for different domes, but we don't necessarily need another one yet. How many renegades do we have? Zero. This will change. Because we have over 15 colonists. So 20% of the colonists over 15 colonists in a dome will become renegades. Of course, we'll have to do something about it when that happens. So the only structure that's running right now that takes machine parts to fix is our water. And the only reason we have any, enough water to farm is because of that. It looks to me like it's going to last until the end of the dust storm. God damn, dude. It's actually pretty annoying right now. <laughs> it's so annoying. Uh, sometimes, though, you have to wonder, do I even need these pipes? I think in this case I do because it hooks this up. But, uh, yeah, let's hit the pipes up right here. And then the power goes back to being 
You know what? Leave that alone for now. That's fine. You know what? It's fine. Just leave that alone. Building's not working. Dust storm. Low resource food. Yeah. Oh, we're low on so many things. The, the lightning just strike in here. Okay, how are we doing? Research per soul, 187. Ooh! That's more than I thought you'd get. I like that little upgrade. That's pretty nice. Uh, what are we getting for science output then? 187 from the research building? So almost twice what the explorer is giving us and almost almost exactly what our sponsor is giving us. That little upgrade is doing some good stuff for us. Um, okay, Polymer Blades is nice, but it's only good if I can maintain machine parts manufacturing. So, because these are awesome, but they take machine parts. And machine parts are expensive right now, in the very beginning, without the prefab. Speaking of which, my rocket's back, and uh, I actually have 170 million. So, can I buy a prefab? It takes 440 million. Oh, wow. oh I can do this one for 165, though. I have barely enough for this. And you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, launch it. Or do I wait? And so I, do I wait so I can bring some back? Yeah, ugh, that's a tough call because what if the price goes up? Well, next month I'll get more money from the celebrity, right? So. Meteor shower in no, not a meteor shower. <laughs> no, we're just getting done with the dust storm. Uh, what if uh, what if the dust storm ends and then the meteor shower happens right here and you just we just lose that's that's what will happen we'll just simply lose oh no all right I don't know how how long is this video right now I've I've done this in a couple of sittings right I've just I'm just recording I'm just I'm tired I've just been recording this whole time I'm excited to be back in this game again is it is it 21 minutes or is that just like this session i need to check so i know how long because i can't go too long i know you guys sometimes like long videos but i gotta tell you the majority of youtube does not <laughs> leave me a comment down below tell me what is the longest video you could stand watching me for all right that's a hard question i know but like how long could you really go listening to this voice continuously okay and be honest okay you know who you know who i'm talking to all right be honest i think i need to also give some more more drones over here actually might be useful they look like they're under a good a good load let's move some of them over here it's a low load now yeah because these guys you know they're batteries and stuff all right we only have one food left this is incredibly unfortunate. But when this pops, oh man, are we good. As soon as this pops, we're in great shape. I do need to start really thinking about the second dome and that while I still have the concrete to do it. Now the second dome, I was gonna connect to the first dome, but uh, to do that, I would need to get rid of this open air gym. Most likely then go over here with it. Uh, I would like to go over here with it to get access to this metal. And it'd be nice, actually, if I could do it right next to this drone hub. Because then I could get access to that metal supply. Right? We can get access to the metal from right here. Now, observe this dust, okay, from the water extractor, okay? You don't affect a dome unless you touch the middle of it. So technically, this does nothing to me in terms of, you know, dust on the dome. It doesn't do anything to me. So I could theoretically do this and it would be fine. I'm gonna shut this off for now. Um, and then to make sure I could place this, it will let me place it here. And this dust does not affect, yeah, this dust will not affect uh, each other. Like th these two structures will not affect each other either. So this will let me work here in range of the dome and requires colonists and too far from your domes. Yeah, this one, this will work here too. So I like this too, to get more metals. And then once we have the more metals, right, then it's, it's like we can really ramp up on machine parts production. 
Um, we can start moving all the metals to be kind of centered in here. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. We're going to say, hey, metals, why don't you guys hang out like right in this area? And then this is good because it covers both both uh, drone hubs. You can actually see this. So let me see where... Yeah, this metals depot. Let's say I want to keep 70, 60 of them here. Resources are low. Yeah. Oxygen's low? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got a leak. Hang on. How long has this been happening? Have I just been not paying attention? Shit. All right. We can go two souls now. We're good. That said five hours, and I was like, panic attack. Five hours of oxygen? You gotta be kidding me. All right. The dust storm is over, right? Tell me the dust storm is over. It's not. 18 hours left. So the meteor shower is going to start during the dust storm. You suck. You suck, game. Can I get more money? Please? I know it's a risk to, to wait, but I really want more. Can I get to 200 million, please? I just want to be able to bring some machine parts with me. Shit. I don't think I can. How much do they cost anyway? 99 million for five of them? Yeah, I should just bring the prefab, man. Now it's one. It's, it's still 165. I should just bring the prefab. Mm-hmm. 77 million for polymers now? Oh, it's so expensive. Everything's gone up by 10%. Yep. Everything is 10% more pricey. Because of inflation. So I probably should do this. I'll bring it. Wait, did I just pack the right thing? Hold on. What did I just pack? Did I do the machine parts factory or the electronics factory? Oh, boy. I don't remember. I clicked a button. Can I see what's on my rocket? Small machine parts factory. Good. <laughs> Whew. That was a close one, man. Jesus. If it was electronics factory, I'm just effed. <laughs> All right. We don't have enough polymers to actually build this. Kind of hoping we get on that once this dust storm crap starts or stops, I guess. <clears throat> and where is the where are the meteors falling? They're falling here. Looks like they're hanging out over here. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff happening over here, actually. There's probably, like, a lot of metal on the map over here now. And there's going to be more research to get. Mm-hmm. See? More anomalies being found. Yeah. That'll do it. Explorer, come back up here where it's safe, please. Safe-ish. Leak detected. Good for you. Good for you. I'm not leaking at all, though, am I? Nope. Not losing anything. Sucks to be you. I'm gonna just delete it anyway. I really like. I really hate the electrostatic dust storm. Like it's still going. This whole video has been under a dust storm with nothing that we can do about it. And yet, our water will last, and our oxygen will last, and our power will last. Our people will last. We will endure, right? Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Yeah. It's life here on Mars. You can't prepare for addiction. Right. So it looks like Angel Grant has the alcoholic trait. You already had that, though. Yeah, you already had this. Not you, Lizzie. Where's Angel? Because Angel already had that trait. She was the, she was the sexy one that had, was an alcoholic. Yeah, you were sexy alcoholic. I love how many kids there are, man. How many colonists do we have total, huh? Seventeen now. Five new colonists. It means five new Martian-born. Yeah, five. That's good. It's really good. 
And now we're now we're making 233 research per soul. I almost I'm tempted to go another shift with this, but just to get that extra little bump, you know. Martian vegetation's going happening. This is good. We do want to start terraforming if we can. Um, atmosphere is the biggest part of terraforming that's going to help us. Um, you get a good enough atmosphere, a thick enough atmosphere. I mean, granted, you need 80% to stop the meteor showers, but you get 50%, you stop the dust storms. I think that's what it is. 50% uh, will stop the, uh, the twisters. Yeah. Missing rover. Satellite image shows our missing rover completely shut down and covered in a pile of red Martian dust. From what we can tell from the cameras, the rover has suffered a critical malfunction. We have no idea how long, how it ended up in its current location. Please don't be like on a random mountain somewhere where it would have been impossible for you to drive. It would have been impossible to drive here. This is so stupid. It is impossible for it to have driven here. Oh my god, you suck, game. You took away my truck. You took away my truck. And there is no way that could have happened. Look at that nonsense. That truck is gone for a very long time. Oh my god. Well... Shit. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I needed that, man. All the metals and stuff around the map to get. Um, I mean, as much as I want to terraform this, and I kind of do, I'm gonna have to now. I'm gonna have to go like this. Can we terraform all of this to be flat? Excess waste rock. I mean, I don't know how. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna have to use my my RC. Yeah. The RC car is going to have to do this. So why don't we get... Uh... Shit. Maybe we do it this way instead. Maybe we make the ramp here. That gets us up here so we can get these research. And then we ramp down on this side and then we can get over there. Because we don't really need to get down here. And like This, this is unimportant. Getting up here is a pretty cool idea though. Because there's a lot of stuff up there. So why don't I ramp up here instead? This takes uh, 310 waste rock. That's a lot. Can I do this cheaper? Any way to do this cheaper? 353. Doesn't look like it. Going this way, maybe? 357, 205, 215. I might live with that. 281. 215 is okay. Can I do it for under 200? You know, it's okay. It's it's all right. 213. Let's do it. We'll ramp up there. Now, I don't know how we're going to have to deal, or I don't know what kind of stuff we're going to have to deal with in terms of the... Uh... Resources are low. Yeah, I'm aware. I don't know what I'm going to have to deal with in terms of like dust devils while we're doing this. But if we could just hang out over here and then we can pile waste rock kind of like right here. I'm all right with that. If you guys can just do that. So we're going to bring the RC commander and we're going to really hope that it doesn't get hit by a dust devil. We're going to bring it over here and park it as far over here as possible. And... Also, there's still a meteor shower going on in this area. We may not want to get too aggressive, but I want my truck back. <laughs> it's so way over, it's way over there. Can't believe this. Can't believe they did that. All right, what's going on with the power? Stop, pause. I can't pause. Okay. Oxygen's back. Food. About to pop. 20 food. Okay. Why so little, guys? What happened? Did you lose water? You shouldn't have. This is down. That's why. So we're down in water because that's down. All of this stuff needs fixed. Why aren't we fixing it? 
Not enough power. To fix it? Oh, you know what? We gotta do this. Oh, no. I moved my RC car for this. Sector scanned. Hang on. I got some repairs to do now that that stuff is over. Oh, dear. I just moved my RC car. That's unfortunate. Any more power I have to do? No. Let's temporarily open all of these. So that these start up again. And then, you know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and build these. We can get the water. Actually, wait. Stop. We don't need them. No! Don't do that! Oh my god. Okay, good. I thought I lost the prefab. Like, completely lost the prefab. I was so mad at myself just now. Um, this. Don't do this. Because we're not low on water. I guess we'll have this one run. Because we just built it. But we're not low on water. Oh god, this is so unorganized. And my mouse is moving in a weird way too. It's not doing it's not doing what I'm wanting it to what I want it to do. It kind of just disappears and teleports. And I don't know why it's doing that. It's a little annoying. Another anomaly found. That's on the low ground. We could get that actually. You guys working on this? Tell me you're working on this. Yeah, they are. Okay, I mean, there's not a lot of them working on it, but they are. We're doing as much as they can. Yeah, it's going to take a long time to ramp that. <laughs> That's what we're going to do, though. Uh, and then this is just out of range, so I'm going to have to bring one of you guys over here to do this. Grab some metal, please. Just grab some metal and get over here and build this. Deliver. Yep, right there. You need it done. Build it up. Good. Wait, wait, wait. I need you to do some more. Go get the metal. All right, let's close all the sterlings if we can. We can afford to. Beautiful. And you built this anyway. Son of a... Okay. Is what it is. <laughs> I let it go. At least we didn't build this one. Because we have a surplus in water. We don't need that much water. And then, how come you guys aren't fixing this stuff? Oh, I guess it's not... You are fixing it. Let's get the magnetic filtering, too. It's a polymer cost. Why would I do that right now? Because it, it gives more oxygen. We're going to try and push this oxygen off to another dome, too. So... Uh, yeah. So, explorer friend. Explorer friend. Uh, I realize that there's a meteor shower happening right now. For 10 more hours. I don't know if it's necessarily wise for us to investigate this during that storm. But if you could maybe, I don't know, come on over here just so you're ready to do that. Hypothermia. Our colonists are suffering from hypothermia. Hmm, I question this. What's, what happened to our battery? We have power, so what's going on? Kill this. And now we're good? That's weird. Well, during the day, we'll have power access. But we have power. That's the weird thing. Temporarily open these. So we can get that back up. Uh, and then, you know, I kind of need this pipe done. It's still not done. It feels so bad. Oh, it feels so bad. That pipe is not done. Drone. Get metal, please. Come over here. Deliver the resource here. Get that done, please. Seven more hours remaining in the meteor storm, and I'm still trying to make this stupid ramp. Oh, 9% done. That's going to take so long. It's going to take so long. Okay. Well, our struggles continue. We got terraforming stuff done, so that's pretty cool. You know, Martian vegetation is researched. We can now 
make our first steps towards Mars into a lush green haven, although we really don't need that. And in hindsight, researching this at the time probably wasn't good, but I wanna get this. That's why we do it, to get to this. Okay, now this is a very expensive thing to operate, but the GHV G factory is our first and our primary step in warming up Mars, creating a more thicker atmosphere. If we can warm Mars to 50% of its needed temperature, we will no longer get cold waves. If we can get it to 50% of its needed atmosphere, I don't believe we'll get any more dust devils. And if we can get it to 80%, then we won't get any more uh, meteors as either, right? So this is our primary step to doing that. We need to burn fuel to increase the temperature of Mars using greenhouse gases. And the temperature, it battles those cold waves. And God, I hate those cold waves. They're, they last forever. So we want to get to this. It's about whether or not we can afford that for the fuel cost for it. But as long as we're producing access water, we should be able to produce access fuel. Um, so I, I want to get started on that at least. It does take machine parts and all that stuff to, to start working with. It's going to be a bitch because it also takes power and it's, it's, it, we're going to work on it. Okay. Um, the next thing to work on, I think is going to be down the social tree, to be honest, systemic training, just so we can maybe get that million dollar grant. I want that million dollars. And then, uh, honestly, this is actually good for us right now. Let's cue this to the top instead. Drones work faster on landscaping projects because, you know, this is going to take forever <laughs> unless we do that. Because not only do I need to go up here, that is a thing. We do need to go up here. And there's tons of stuff to get up here. But what I really want to do is get down here too. So I can get to my car. So we can get all the way back. And then we're very mobile and we can go get resources and stuff. But yeah. Yeah. We don't have any homeless yet, thankfully. Our drone is only half full. And we don't have any renegades yet. That will probably change. I'm going to leave this video here. What a stressful ride it has been so far. Yeah. It's been it's been awesome and and crazy and awesome. Our food popped, which is awesome. We have 10 uh we have 10 food now. And we'll have another 14 very soon. And then we'll rinse and repeat. We'll do it again, right? We'll have uh we, right now we have 64% soil quality. We need to get the course to 100, and then everything just becomes a lot better. I realize that. Okay, thank you very much for watching, guys. This is a struggle, but we're gonna get there. All right, it's, it's gonna take a while, but we're gonna get there. I appreciate you. Have a nice day. Bye.